Welcome to Acroyoga Global's Thai Massage with me, Len and Joey. Prepare a soft surface on the ground. Any combination of carpets, yoga mats, blankets, and pillows will do. Plan for some relaxing lighting and play some of your favorite music. Remember, there are no rules. Stop halfway if you need to, skip a portion, improvise, take care of yourself. You'll want to communicate with your partner during the massage. You can use your words if that feels right, or these hand signals. You could signal for more pressure or harder. You could signal for less pressure or that hurts. And you can let your partner know that that feels really good. Let's get started. Ask your partner to start in a belly down position, prone on the ground. Ensure that there's some padding underneath their feet, perhaps a yoga mat, rolled up towel, or a soft carpet. Come to a standing position and walk your feet onto your partner's feet. Move your weight onto their feet slowly to ensure that you don't surprise or hurt them. And check in with them about the weight that you're providing. Ask if they want more pressure or less pressure, which you can achieve by leaning more into your toes or, or the balls of your feet, the portion of your feet that are in contact with theirs, or less by leaning more onto your heels. Feel free to have a chair or a wall nearby for extra balance. And if you feel comfortable in this position, you can experiment walking your feet. Shift your weight to the left and move unweighted right foot to a new position along your partner's foot. Then shift your weight to the right foot and move the newly unweighted left foot to a new position along the sole of your partner's foot. Continue at your own pace, shifting the position of your unweighted foot ever so slightly each time. You can walk all the way toward your partner's heels and, and travel back toward the toes. How's the pressure, Milan? Okay. As you're offering this massage to your partner, check in with your own body. See if you can do this from a comfortable upright position. Relax your shoulders. Make sure the crown of your head's reaching upright and tall. Allow the massage to be as relaxing for your partner receiving it as it is for you offering it. Option to continue with this foot massage this way, or you can experiment using your heels as the primary pressure point by turning around and slowly walking your heels onto the soles of your partner's feet. This may be a little bit more intense than with the pads of the foot because the heels are a smaller surface area, a little bit more <laughs> bony, I suppose. So make sure you check in often with your partner. You may need to use your words a bit more because you can't see them when you're facing the other direction unless you twist around. How's that pressure, Milan? Okay. And continue rocking right to left, left to right. Shifting your heels every time, perhaps a little bit closer to the toes or a little closer to the heels. And slowly, regardless of your variation, walk off of your partner's feet and find a kneeling position with your knees on either side of one of their legs. Lift that leg up, foot to the sky, and then walk closer to their knee. Allow their foot to rest on your chest and create a clamp with your hand by interlacing your fingers, allowing your heels to come together as the clamp. And we'll apply a massage to our partner's lower leg this way. Start near the ankle, create a clamp, and 
pressure between the heels of your palms. You can rest here and just hold the tension. Check in with your partner if they want more or less pressure. Once you have that pressure in, you can initiate some movement as well. You can move by rocking side to side a little bit. You can create circles with your elbows as a way to initiate this movement. And you can move your hands towards you know, the thumb direction and then the pinky direction while maintaining tension or pressure between the heels of your hands. At your own pace, explore the length of your partner's leg. So when you feel you're complete at a certain spot, release the pressure, reposition the hands, apply the pressure once more, and perhaps introduce some movement. Ensure that you're in a comfortable position. If sitting on your knees is not really happening for you, you can opt for a different position. Try to relax your shoulders and breathe here. Move at your own pace. Check in with your partner often. And find comfort as you offer this massage. Now, if you are working on your partner's right leg, you'll turn to the right side. If you're working on their left leg, turn to the left side. So turn to the same side of the leg that you are working on. And sit down facing that direction. And lower your partner's foot into your lap. Feel free to renegotiate the distance so that their ankle crease is right on top of your thigh. And then you can use your forearm or elbow for more pressure to offer a massage along the uh, sole of the foot again. Check in with them. If, if the forearm's enough pressure, you can stick with that. If you'd like to use your elbow, that'll be a little bit more pressure. Milan, would you like the elbow or the forearm? Okay. See if you can do this without using the strength of your arm so much as using your body weight, leaning into your partner's foot. Find a spot on the elbow the elbow foot connection and perhaps introduce a little bit of movement there some slow circles and then reposition the elbow at a new spot along the sole of your partner's foot I want to re-emphasize the search for comfort here so if you need to place a block or a pillow under your hips to be seated more comfortably, then please go ahead and do that. If your partner's on a raised surface, perhaps a bed, then this is a great one to sit on the edge of the bed with and have your legs fall down towards the ground. Often that's a much more comfortable sitting position for folks with limited mobility for whom sitting on the ground is not very comfortable. How's the pressure, Milan? Okay. And remove your elbow from your partner's foot. Lift their leg up slightly to free your leg. And we'll move to the second side now. Lift their foot to the ceiling. Kneel on either side of their knee and allow their foot to rest on your chest. Create that clamp with your hands again allowing the heels of your hands to be your pressure points for this clamp. And begin applying the massage on your partner's lower leg. Find pressure and perhaps introduce some movement. Work at your own pace. 
up and down the length of your partner's lower leg. You can explore a couple different ways of moving in this clamped position and then ask your partner what they prefer. Perhaps they prefer the rocking side to side or up and down movement or perhaps more of a circular movement. Keep that line of communication open. When you're done with that technique, turn to the same side of the leg that you're dealing with. So in this case, I have my partner's left leg on the left side. And sit down close to where their feet would lie when their legs are straight and lay their foot in your lap. You may need to readjust the distance, do what you need to do to find a, a comfortable access point to your partner's foot, and then use your forearm or elbow to massage the sole of your partner's foot. Lean into that elbow or forearm, searching for effortless pressure. And once you've found the right position to work from, you can create small circles with your elbow moving slowly. Generally, when we work with a lot of pressure, we'll also use slow movements. Milan, would you like more, less, or keep it at this level of pressure? Okay, thank you. Keep shifting the point of contact between the elbow or forearm and the sole of your partner's foot to explore different areas along the base of their foot. Be generous, be curious. and release the pressure on your partner's foot and return their foot to the ground. Ask them to roll over onto their back. Milan, can you roll over onto your back, please? And we'll start with one foot. So begin with knees on either side of that chosen foot to start with. Um, now you can do this from a position other than kneeling if that's more comfortable for you. So please make the adjustments that you need to. Cradle their foot with your hands and use your thumbs to massage the top of their foot. Begin with circular motions with your thumbs and explore every part of the top of their foot. On the inside, closer to the toes, at the heel, near the front of the ankle. Allow your circular movements to travel all along the top of your partner's foot.
How's that pressure, Milan? All right. Check in with yourself, too. Are your shoulders crunched up by your ears? Are you hunched over in an uncomfortable position? Is there unnecessary tension in your arms? Find a position of comfort from which you the side. And once you've completed the circular movement exploration along your partner's top of their foot, you can move to pulling on the toes. So grab hold of one toe and pull it away from the heel. Now you pull it as, as hard as feels nice, but no harder. So you check in with your partner. Does that feel okay, Milan? All right, would you like me to pull more? Okay. And move from toe to toe. Applying a little traction, squeezing the toe gently, and pulling it away from the ground. Go at your own pace. If you're moving from toe to toe rather quickly, you may have time to go through them all again. And if you're moving a bit more slowly, that's, that's fine too. And once you're done with the toes, shift to the outside of that leg. You may need to move the leg towards the center a bit first so that you can have access to the outside edge of your partner's lower leg. You may even feel around and feel the shin bone on the top of the leg. And rather than going directly there, go a little bit more closer to you on that side of the shin bone. Use your thumbs as pressure points anywhere between the knee and ankle along their lower leg. I invite you to work with straight arms and allow you to apply pressure without getting tired, and bending your elbows incessantly. How's that pressure, Milan? Okay. Would you like more? Okay. So simply walk your hands or your thumbs more specifically along that line on the outside edge of your partner's lower leg and feel free to explore your thumbs in, in that direction and check in with your partner see what they like best and spend some time there I'm choosing to do this from a kneeling position on both of my shins but you can choose a different position if that works better for you. Perhaps a, a low semi-kneeling position or a higher semi-kneeling position. You can be seated on your buttocks as well. I find it's a bit more challenging to apply the pressure with straight arms when I'm sitting on my buttocks with my legs crossed or, or open. So I prefer this position, but you can supplement it with any pillows or alternative positions that work for you. And move to the other side. So we'll begin with the foot. Cradle the foot in your hands and explore the top side of their foot with circular motions with your thumbs. You can begin near the heel and work your way out from there. Rather, begin near the ankle and work your way out from there, though you're welcome to begin near the heel as well. You can explore 
the top side of their their foot and as you're doing that your fingers can also be working the sole of their foot ever so slightly though it's not the focus it's a nice nice additional aspect to this technique and once you feel complete with the top of their feet you can move to the toes gripping a toe lightly and pulling it away from the ground move from one toe to the next at your own pace Shift now to the outside of your partner's leg to have access to the outer edge of their lower leg. And use your thumbs as pressure points along the outside of their leg. You may find the shin bone with your fingers and then go slightly closer to you than that shin bone along that line. I invite you to work with straight arms here and check in with your partner for the pressure. How's that pressure, Milan? Okay. Continue to thumb press walk along the outer edge of their lower leg. Between the knee and ankle. Search for a comfortable way to do this. And there's nothing wrong with starting <laughs> with one strategy and switching halfway through if it ceases to function for you, if you find some discomfort creeping in. when you feel complete with that, return the position by your partner's feet. We'll apply that thumb press walking with straight arms now to the soles of our partner's feet. You can imagine five lines along your partner's foot, starting with each of the toes and working their way to the heel We'll travel along each of those five lines. So start with your thumbs near your partner's heels and apply some weight into your thumbs by shifting forward over straight arms. Slowly shift the weight to one side. Move the unweighted hand a little bit further towards the toes. And shift from side to side in this fashion as you walk your thumb from the heel towards the big toe. Move at your own pace. So if you've already reached the base of the big toe, you can begin returning toward the heel. We'll go up and down. How's the pressure, Milan? Would you like more? Okay. Move now to the second line along the sole of your partner's feet, soles of your partner's feet. This is the line that leads up to the index toe.
move firmly and deliberately. As we shift to the third line, the middle toe, up the middle of our partner's feet, toward the base of the middle toe, and then back again toward the heels. And now along the line, fourth line up to the fourth toe. And back toward the heel again. And the last line, the pinky toe line on the outer edge of your partner's foot. And back down that line toward the heel. Collect your partner's ankles, stand up. and lean away from them, introducing some traction into their legs. You can do this with the hands grabbing hold of your partner's ankles, straight arms, simply leaning back. Or you can step a little bit closer toward your partner's hips and place the tops of their feet behind your buttocks or legs or lower back, depending on your proportions and lean into the top of their feet to help apply some traction backwards. Regardless of your variation, try to do this from a position of comfort. And feel free to check in with your partner about the amount of traction you're providing. Would you like more tension, Milan? Okay. Take one more breath here. And lower your partner's legs to the ground. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to close the massage. Gently blink your eyes open, and thank your partner for allowing you to practice Thai massage today. Thank you, Milan.